Right, so I've been thinking about doing this video for a while, and it was to talk about basically the fact that DVD is still relevant. And why is that? Well, we're going to go through it. I've got a few reasons why DVD is still relevant, and also why it's still a good thing to actually collect. But let's get into it. So, point number one it's affordable to collect. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, don't get me wrong, you can pick up Blu-rays for like, what, a pound each in some charity shops, but other than that, if you go Music Magpie and other places, you're going to pay a bit more. DVD, however, you go to a charity shop, five for a pound. And of course, you know, we're in a current like living crisis, so cost of living's a problem. I don't know about so much in the US, but it certainly is in the UK. So if you can get five films for a pound and you want to collect, a, a, get a nice collection, DVD is the way to go, right? Because it's easier to afford. So, you know, from that point of view, it makes perfect sense. Why else? Well, second reason, they're easy to find. Because, let's be honest, DVD was mass produced. It was. You could find them everywhere. It was very lucrative at one point, and so as a result, everybody was jumping on the bandwagon, and so as a result, you find these films everywhere. There are a few that are hard to find, but not many. You know, most films you can find anywhere. And if you go in charity shops, you will find shelves upon shelves of them. There is so many of them, and quite often you'll find the same film in there three or four times. So... It's just, from that point of view, a lot easier to find them. Right, now, point number three, and this is probably the most important one out of this list. A lot of films that were released on DVD have not been released on media since. They're not out on Blu-ray, they're not out on 4K, some of them are not out on streaming platforms. And I'll show you a good example of what I'm talking about here. Saturn 3. This is not out on Blu-ray, it's not out on 4K, and I've never seen it on a streaming platform, certainly not in the UK. Now this is a fairly inexpensive DVD, you can pick it up quite easily, and I don't know if you can see there, look, it says here Colton Studios, which I found interesting, um, or should I say ITV Studios, but I, I'm sure I've seen this under Colton as well. So yeah, uh, this, this film, you know, is it the greatest film ever? Maybe not. It's got a lot of history behind it. There's a lot of interesting backstories to do with this. Might have to do a video on that at some point. But um, behind the scenes was very interesting on this film. But you can find this on DVD and it's not too expensive. Now, another good example of what I'm talking about here. You won't find this on streaming platforms. You won't find it on Blu-ray. The old Looney Tunes cartoons. You don't see these anywhere now. But you will find them on DVD. They're easy to find. They're not too expensive. CEX have got loads of these. You can get hold of them. And I've got a lot of Looney Tunes because it's what I grew up with. And if I'm honest, they're some of the best cartoons you'll ever watch. And it's not just Looney Tunes. You will find lots of others like the real Ghostbusters, Thundercats, He-Man, Robocop, Jamie and the Magic Torch. These are all ones I own. You will find them on DVD at a good reasonable price. And of course, let's not forget... The Star Trek box sets that never came out on Blu-ray because they've never been remastered. You can find these on streaming, but you will pay silly money for them. Just buy them on DVD box sets. It's so much cheaper. You get all the uh, extra features like the uh, behind the scenes and all that as well. These are well worth the price. Of course, I should add here that in a recent video, if you have watched it, you will know I talked about disc rot. If you are going to get Deep Space Nine, buy these sets, not the slim sets. The slim sets suffer with disc rot. Now, that, you could say that's something against DVD, but not all DVDs get disc rot. Most are good. It's only certain ones. Um, next point, point number four. They quite often have special features that Blu-rays and definitely streaming don't have, and that's right. Sometimes you'll have interviews with the cast, you'll have behind the scenes, there'll be um, little featurettes on how they did the special effects and that. And you'll quite often find they'll come out on Blu-ray and either that's missing or it'll just be lessened. A uh, good example is there's been a couple of um, Terminator 2 releases and they're all different, 
But I remember the Ultimate DVD set that I've got has got loads of special features on it. And if I remember right, I don't remember a Blu-ray release having quite as much on it. So it's a good example right there. If I ever do replace that with a Blu-ray edition or a 4K edition, I probably will keep the DVD set as well because there's a lot more on there. I could be wrong on that, but I'm sure I'm not. I'm pretty certain I'm spot on with that. And again, it comes to the last part, point number five. Again, physical media cannot be altered like it is on streaming. And you will definitely notice on DVD it's not. Because when these DVDs came out, most of them came out at a point where they didn't really do that. You know, everything was fair game. Current politics have only come out in the last few years and now they've started doing it. So as a result, DVDs are unaltered. So in most cases, you will buy that film and it will be the original release. So this is another reason why DVD is king. And the reason I'm saying this is because I have found that some Blu-rays have even been altered, some. But it's the later releases of them. So maybe they've done a remaster. So you've got a previous Blu-ray release and then they've remastered and brought a newer one out at the same time as the full 4K and they've altered it. Whereas with the DVD, you haven't got this problem. And you've got various other things, like at the moment, there's a big controversy over True Lies, where they've used um, the digital noise re re um, reduction. And as a result, it's kind of made Arnold Schwarzenegger look a bit CGI in places. A lot of people don't like that. Well, good example of this, if you get the DVD, because it was never out over here on Blu-ray, if you get the DVD, you won't have that altered thing. You'll have the original look. Yes, it'll probably look more grainy, but at least people will look real. They won't look like CGI characters. I, I personally haven't watched the new 4K one, so I can't pass judgment on what's better. But I do know that there are people on different sides of the fence complaining about both sides of it. So these are the reasons. If you bought the DVD, you know, you're going to get that unedited, raw, uncut version. So... So these are all reasons why DVD is still worth picking up. Uh, I have many films that will remain in my collection on DVD for these very reasons. Um, more often than not, if I do replace it with a Blu-ray edition, and like I say, it's got less special features, I will keep the DVD. But in most cases, the DVDs I'll be keeping will purely be the ones that were never released on a later media source. So, you know, like a good example, and this is something I need to stress here. I made the mistake in the early days of Amazon Prime of getting rid of all my Stargate SG-1 box sets and buying them all digitally because they took up a lot of room. If I'm honest, they were huge box sets and there was 10 of them. They took up a lot of room. I regret that now because although I've got them digitally, let's be honest, I now know that Prime can take them from me whenever they feel like it. And so as a result, I would like to now get the DVD equivalent again. And not only that, I wouldn't mind betting that at some point there'll be bits removed because I know for a fact that there's jokes in SG-1 that are a bit close to the mark and probably don't fit in too well with the current day politics. Another example of things I'll probably never move from DVD on will be Red Dwarf because I heard that when they brought out the earlier seasons on Blu-ray, certain special features were missing and they even cocked up the titles of some of the episodes. I'd rather keep the DVD for the continuity and the special features. But like I say, these are just a few examples here. Maybe you have some that I've not mentioned here, and if so, do your own video, do a VR. Let me know other points that you've got that are relevant here. You know, it'd be great to hear from you. Anyway, that's all there is for this video. If you have enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe. And until next time, take care, stay safe, Nerdy Geezer out.